friends, come. It's time for love, time for hope, time for grace. It's time for praise, time for singing, time for prayers. Come, it's time for worship. If you found a home at First Church and would like to be added to the family roster, send me an email, crossandflame at att.net, crossandflame at att.net, or send me a note. I'm Pastor Lynn. Until next Sunday, stay at home when you can, watch out for one another, and be at peace. Let us join together in our call to worship. Beloved, God calls us to come together in love. Love is from God. We all are called to live in God's love. Love is from God. When we live in God's love, our love overflows. Love is from God. Let us worship together in love. Let us join together in singing where charity and love prevail. Let us join together in prayer. God of love, you have invited us to this time and space. We lift our hearts in thanksgiving and joyful praise for the gift of your love. God of life, you have invited us here to place all that we have and all that we are in you. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, guide us to not only lift up our hearts in worship, but to offer our hearts in love. Amen. Jacob and Esau meet from Genesis chapter 33. Now Jacob looked up and saw Esau coming and 400 men with him. So he divided the children among Leah and Rachel and the two maids. He put the maids with their children in front, then Leah with her children, and Rachel and Joseph last of all. He himself went on ahead of them, bowing himself to the ground seven times until he came near his brother. 
But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. When Esau looked up and saw the women and children, he said to Jacob, Who are all these with you? The children whom God has graciously given your servant. What do you mean by all this company that I met? To find favor with my Lord. I have enough, my brother. Keep what you have for yourself. No, please. If I find favor with you, then accept my presence from my hand. For truly to see your face is like seeing the face of God, since you have received me with such favor. Then the maids drew near, they and their children, and bowed down. Leah likewise and her children drew near and bowed down. And finally Joseph and Rachel drew near and they bowed down. Let us join together in singing, Lord, I want to be a Christian. Wordscapes, a word puzzle video game. When I became eligible, I started playing in individual tournaments, but I didn't join a team. One day, it came to me that playing on a team might be fun. So, and I remained surprised by this, I decided to start Team Cross and Flame. I encourage players and I build team spirit. So when Shadow and Zappy X joined the team nine days ago, I welcomed each one in the team chat. When 
Aero Esther joined the team eight days ago, Shadow wrote, Aero Esther is my sister. Zappy X responded immediately with, kick her. I ignored Zappy X and welcomed Aero Esther to the team. I said, it'll be fun to be on the same team as a sibling. And then I said, I noticed that you already helped teammates. Good. Immediately, Zappy X sent four chats, one after another, beginning and ending with, Aero Esther is bad, kick her. Aero Esther said, no, Zappy X is my brother. We just fight a lot. And Shadow is my sister. Zappy X responded, kick her or I'll leave and I'm better. Now when this exchange happened, I was writing a sermon about Esau and Jacob, which no doubt influenced my response. Firefly, that's me, said, if I understand correctly, you three are related and some sibling tussling is going on here. Zappy X, if you want to leave, go. Otherwise, stop it. Be aware that if you are kicked off the team, you can never rejoin that team. Seven days have come and gone, and all is quiet. Sibling rivalry. When does it begin? It begins in the Bible when Cain kills Abel. Most of the time it begins when a sibling arrives. But in the story of Jacob and Esau, they struggle together while they are still in the womb. And Jacob emerges from the womb, clutching his brother's heel. The two boys are very different. Esau is a skilled hunter, a man of the open fields. Jacob is a quiet man who stays at home. Isaac loved Esau, while Rebekah loved Jacob. This favoritism is a hotbed for sibling rivalry between Esau and Jacob. When they're young men, Jacob tricks Esau into giving up his birthright. And later, Jacob tricks his father into giving him, not Esau, his blessing. Esau plans to kill Jacob for stealing his blessing. So Jacob runs away to live with his mother's brother, Laban. Jacob falls in love with Rachel, but is tricked into marrying her older sister, Leah, before he can marry Rachel. This favoritism is a hotbed for sibling rivalry between Leah and Rachel. Jacob stays with Laban 20 years. And then the Lord tells Jacob to go home. He is at last going home to make peace with Esau. Will Esau welcome him or kill him? Jacob sees Esau coming with 400 men. He goes ahead of the women and children. He bows down to the ground seven times until he comes to his brother. I love this part of the story. Esau runs to meet him and embraces him and falls on his neck and kisses him and the two men weep. Now, at this point in the sermon, I could talk at length about how we are like Jacob. We do wrong things all the time. And God is like Esau. When we repent and we turn toward home, God runs to us, embraces us, and forgives us. We see this same kind of forgiveness in the parable of the prodigal son. 
When the boy at last heads home, the father runs to meet him. God is like the gracious father, watching and waiting to welcome us home. God forgives. I could talk about that. And we will another day. But today, I want to talk about reconciling with siblings. God wants siblings to reconcile. God wants siblings to ask for forgiveness. God wants siblings to be forgiving. We know this because God tells Jacob to go home. Are you wrestling with God right now like Jacob did that night so long ago? Is God telling you to take the first step toward reconciling with a brother or a sister? If you've done wrong, head home, figuratively speaking, then follow Jacob's lead. Jacob said to Esau, I stole your birthright and your blessing. I was wrong, forgive me. These three simple but important steps can make all the difference in your sibling relationship. First, admit what you did. Second, acknowledge the wrong, I was wrong. Third, ask for forgiveness, forgive me. Pastor Brian has four sisters. He is the oldest, so sibling rivalry is a given. When they were young, he was always looking for ways to torment them. It didn't take him long to figure out that if he teased his sister Kathy, she'd scream, then she'd get in trouble for screaming. One of his goals growing up was to get all four sisters to cry at the same time. This proved to be quite challenging, but here's how it finally happened. The family was in the station wagon heading to grandma and grandpa's. He decided that this was a good time to launch his attack. He pinched Kathy, pulled Jean's hair, insulted Mary, and threatened Beth. And he sat there with a big grin on his face while they cried in surround sound. His dad said, all right, that's it. And then he pulled over to the side of the road. He slammed on the brakes and he said, get out. We'll pick you up on Sunday. Pastor Brian says he couldn't believe it. He finally accomplished his elusive goal, and here he was standing on the gravel shoulder on a deserted country road in Wisconsin. As he shut the car door, Dad pulled away and drove off. He didn't know it then, but as soon as Dad left him by the side of the road, his sister stopped crying. His sister stopped crying and started pleading with dad to go back and get him. And dad did. Pastor Brian says, do you know what my sisters did when I got in the car? They were hugging me. Even though I'd done them wrong, they forgave me. Even without his three important steps speech, his sisters forgave him. Sometimes when we head home to make peace with siblings, they forgive us like Esau forgave Jacob. But when we head home to make peace with God, God always forgives us like the gracious father welcoming home the prodigal son. Good friends, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Let us sing, forgive our sins 
as we forgive. Let us join in the prayer the Lord taught the family. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. to our church and its mission. Let us join together in singing, When Cain Killed Abel.
what if each of us lived every moment of our lives truly believing that God loves everyone? Would it change the world? Friends, they will know we are Christians by our love. God sends us to love. God sends us to bless the world. God sends us to bring the world home. Go with God.